Hi, Diamond Painting friends. It's Linda from Linda from Diamonds for Linda. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, so if you like this kind of content, Diamond Painting, or, you know, um, please give it a thumbs up. I always forget to say that at the end or the beginning or in between, but if you could do all those YouTube-y things, it's much appreciated. So today I have something different. I, um, I was on Oraloa. Yeah, I don't know why I was on Oraloa. <laughs> but I've been looking at their, um, I've been looking at their Pixel hobby. This is Pixel Create It Yourself. And uh, they had this Hannah Lynn one. I've seen some in the past, but they're just kind of expensive. This is like similar to diamond painting, but not. Uh, and I'll show you in a second. I don't really know anything about Pixel um, Hobby. I've never done one. And um, so I believe there's like these little plastic pieces, which is similar to diamond painting, that you put on this, um, this, well, let's open it up and I'll kind of show you. This is like the canvas section. But this one is a Hannah Lynn. And I thought, I've been wanting to get this one in a diamond painting. Although in the diamond painting, I think it zoomed out a little bit. This is more like, I guess, a portrait style. So when I saw this one, I thought, oh, I'm going to get that. Um, you know, because I'm not buying diamond paintings right now. So this is the bag. This is like the instructions. It's just, so right here, this is like the plate that you're going to use. I believe this one, I don't know, has um, nine maybe. And then these are the little things that in diamond painting would be diamond. So this is kind of like the canvas. And then here's your symbols right here. I wonder if I should zoom in a little bit. We'll just hope that's out. These are the symbols right there. And then so you got to make sure that your canvas or plate is on on a certain piece of paper and then you get your symbols and you put them on and you end up with this beautiful artwork at the end. And I was just curious to see how similar it is to diamond painting and how does it look at the end result. So I plan on starting this soon. Maybe I'll do like a whip and chat. So this is where all the pretty art is on the, it's, it's on this like wrap around on the box and then you get this box. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom you back out. Sorry, I don't know if I'm making anyone dizzy. We'll go like that far out. Let me get a sip of my coffee. Mm, this coffee's so good, it's almost gone though. Okay, so this is paper the paper pieces I believe and let's get rid of that and these are the plate the plates are like the canvas and I believe these little things here are what you're going to connect all these plates once you're done so you're going to work by section by section and I think oh so I'm going to just take everything out of the box and then we're going to move the box down. I might do this in two parts because my husband, I think, is on his way home. He's going to have lunch with me. So let's see. So these, how funny, I thought these were going to be bigger because, you know, on the box, they should, they look big. <laughs> and on the, on the, um website they look big but look how cute they are oh my goodness so this they look actually pretty small sorry I just hit you so these are the little diamonds and that what we're going to put on the canvas and over here is the the number so this is 486 I don't think these are close to like DMC codes does anybody know what 486 is and is there a 486 I don't even know in on D DMC so this is like the color palette. This is like what you're, what we look at in diamond painting and say, ooh, oh, look at that gorgeous color palette. So this is the color palette. Here's your, oh yeah, let's see. These, these would be the three tens in diamond painting, but let's see what they are in pixel art or pixel hobby or whatever. Yeah, so they don't, they don't follow the DMC because it's 441. So that's what these are. And then, so 
sorry about the crinkles. So these are the plates. I keep hearing somebody. So this, on this side, I don't know if you could see that. So this is where you're going to stick those, the diamonds. And then, so this is flat on the back. Has an arrow, so I believe you always want to make sure the arrow is going up. And from what I watched, I did watch this one lady, what she does. So this is going to be your first plate, because I don't see... It says, all it says is Pixel Hobby. There's no numbers on these. So it would go that way. Okay, so th what this one lady did was she put, like, she said to make an arrow so you know which way that'd be easier. And then she put, like, the number on it. And when you're done though, what's nice is when you're gonna put these together, so it goes this way, but when you're gonna put it together, the one is gonna end up over here on this side. And so if you have them numbered, it kind of makes it easier putting them together. At least it would for my my mind. So, although I don't know if that would make, um, for some people make it hard for you to see the backwards number while you're working on it. She did red, I wonder if she did red because this is, going to be um on black okay so these are the connectors for that so once it's done these are kind of expensive this was $98 plus shipping so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah so there's nine plates and then you have your connectors and then here, from my understanding, I could be wrong, I have never done this before, is, oh yeah, it says right here, number of base plates is nine, number of pixel squares is 168, and so this is number of colors is 79, so you, there's 79 colors, and 168 um, of these, I believe. So let me open this. Let's just take it all out and see. If I get a chance, I think I'm actually going to work on a little bit too in this video. But again, I might have to do it in two parts because my, my hubby's on his way home. Okay, so I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, so from my understanding, so this is one. One, 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 one. One, one, one. So what I might do, again, I haven't done this, so I'm not sure. So this is one, and I believe all of these ones are what you're gonna put on this, what you marked as one. And um, I guess I do wanna use a red one, a red marker instead of the black, because the black could get confusing with this since this is not in color. So, and another thing she did was another tip See, where did I put it? She used a glue stick. I thought I had it right here, but I don't. Look at these cookies. I've been um, loving these cookies. I eat a few a day. These are chocolate chip and they are crunchy cookies. <laughs> okay. Oh, here it is. is she uses this two-way glue and so I guess what happens when you put this on the back of your base plate you put it around here like the perimeter and then you let it dry so you want it to dry because if you use it when you first put it on and you put it on your paper it's going to stick and it's going to be bonded there and it's going to be permanent but if you let the glue dry then it's not permanent. You could reposition your items and that's what, with this glue. I'm kind of scared to try it, but I'm going to. So yeah, so that's what this glue, so you could do that with this glue. 
And that's what I'm going to do. I think you can, on Etsy, there's also people who make uh, like a frame for this and then it's magnetic, so it stays there. But I don't think it'll move too much anyway. So basically, let's, let's zoom in. So basically what you're gonna do is you have, oh, it's up here. So you're gonna get 105. And I don't know if these are in order. Yeah, I believe that that's your number 105. Let's see. And we're not going to actually do this yet. But let's just say this was 105. You would take... Oh, hey, there's no tweezers in here. I guess you buy that separately. Because you do need tweezers. But what I bought... Again, let's see if I can find it over here. I'm so bad at myself because I should have got this all ready. I thought I had it right here. It's fine. Oh, I got these. She used these to pick the pieces off. So I don't know. We're going to try that or tweezers. So 106. And it looks like I'm going to need my. Uh, Looks like I'm going to need my my lamp and everything. I wish I kind of showed you what color 106 is. Does it say on here? No. Hmm. That's weird because it doesn't have 106 here. It has 116. Oh, I'm sorry. See how blind I am? It's 105. Goofy me. It only has one, but it, yeah, I wonder what color that is. And these aren't in order. Well, let me see over here. I don't know why you fought to fall off. Is this 105? This is 101. Just a second. Yeah, that's the UPS guy. He just dropped this off. But he's been sitting out there for I don't know how long, so. Okay. I think they are in order then, because that's if I maybe if I put this this way. So this is this is one zero five. I don't know if you could see that one zero five. Okay, I think these are in order. That would be awesome if they are, because this one said one zero one. Okay, from my understanding, again, that's why you want this to make sure you stay. The only things I can't see. So 105 is going to be these squares right here. So there's one right there. So I think you want to, again, I've never done this. You pick it off like that. And then you put it on like that. There's another one right there. So you're gonna pick it off like this. They come off really easy. And then you put it on. Whoops, I moved it. That's why I th I'm gonna um, put glue on this like they, like that one woman did. And then what she had was she used something to, I was thinking of just using like, like this. Let's try that. Let me get it back because you don't want to goof. I'm going to double check this when I'm done. So I guess that's why you don't want that in black. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'll go get a red one for my next plate. But oh man, it's a lot of pages for the number one. Okay, so you're going to get it off. And this, this, oops, I was going to say it comes off easily. It really does. So then what she was doing was she was like, this one's going to go here. And again, I can't see, so it's just a little bit harder. She put it on and then she went like that. And then that way, yeah, so that's going to go like that. I'm so hungry. My husband's going to come for lunch. I haven't had anything. And then the more you do this, of course, oops, I'm supposed to have this over here. Um, you know, the faster you'll get. So for that lady, she was just speeding along. So that's how you do this. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put that glue on here. And then of course I'm gonna double check to make sure that I got these on correctly. I'm gonna put the glue on here. So let's do this one, just put it aside while we look at the rest of the stuff. I'm scared to put the glue on, but I guess if it doesn't work, I could always wash it off, right? Look at this huge thing. Oh, I hope you guys were on frame, I'm sorry. Should I do another one? Let me do one more in case you guys weren't in frame. So, this is the side that has like those little notches. I think you guys were in frame, right? Probably not, I'm sorry. So you just pick it off. Oh, almost had two there. You pick it off. Can't see, so I'm trying my best. You put it on like that. Did it get on there? Nope, it didn't. I wonder if these are gonna be used to get off if you go. Oh, okay, so let's just put it right here. Oh, I didn't get it on again. <laughs> okay. Oh, and see the other side? I don't know if, let me pick it up again. The other side has that hole. Let's see. Let me take my glasses off. That hole right there. And then, oh, I could kind of, I wonder if I could get it from here. I can't. I'm looking through the lens. Okay, let's hurry up so we can finish the rest. Okay, so then you would just place it right there. Except, geez, I was doing it okay. And all of a sudden I can't do it now. There. It kind of went on. Kind of not. It went crooked. <laughs> Let me look. I got to get it closer. It's just because I don't have my magnifying glass. Okay, I'm going to save this one. I don't want to lose it. But let me just go ahead and try this again. All because I'm not sure if I was in frame. Silly me. If I rewatch it, I'll know. And then I'll be like, why was I doing that again? Struggling like that. Okay, so let's try this again. We're going to get one off. What's well, hard is that I can't see because my glasses are... get it on this time so that time I did okay so that's what you do and I'm gonna double check that in all later so the woman that I was watching she said to put like some glue except her was blue oh it's liquid okay I didn't realize they probably have to pump this huh Hmm. I wonder if you have to pump this first. Let's see. I'm probably not going to use this one. Let's see. I guess I should read the instructions. Okay. Wet bond. When applying for long lasting bond, you use when glue is blue and wet. But how do you use. I wonder if we could go. Over. So I'm just going to go like this until I see evidence of the glue coming down. And there it is. And I'll let you know, of course. I'll come back and let you know if this worked or if I ruined my plate. Oh, there's the glue coming out. See, it's blue. Okay, so I think we have been, I think it's going to come out now. Weeks. Okay, so then you just put that on the, the opposite side. So this is smooth. And she went, she just said to put it on the perimeter. She said to put a good amount. This is coming out fast, so. And then just let this dry. I'm going to stand this up now because I don't want it to keep coming out. So we're going to let that dry and we'll come back to this later because I'm going to probably pause this anyway. So this is, I'm just going to throw this out. Okay, so I'm going to save this. I'm just going to, oh, I feel like that was going to, 
Okay, so this was the second one in here. So I do want to kind of put these back in order. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to get a bookmark, which I don't have here, or a, let's see, I wonder if this will work. Oh yeah, that'll work perfectly. This is my Bella Art de Nicole straightener. So what I think I'll do is when I'm getting a number out, I'll put it there so I know where to put it back. And what I think I'm also going to do is get one of these bags and I'm gonna clip all of these together, which I will get a clip, but not right now. So this is two and on. I'm gonna clip all of this together with one of those binder clips. And I'm gonna put this in, put this in here along with this. And then I'm going to just, of course, just use what I need. And then I'm going to put this in separate ones because I don't have a binder clip. And then that's how I'm gonna keep it organized. So I will come back later because I'm gonna let that plate dry and then I'm gonna rearrange my desk so I can actually see what I'm doing because I couldn't see. And I'll also get some tweezers so this doesn't come with tweezers. You have to have your own. So I didn't see that in the box. And I'm pretty sure I, get, I took everything out. So there was no tweezers. So I'm gonna use these. I, I'll um, put a link to Amazon below with what this is and that glue. I'm sure you can get these anywhere, but I'll list them below so you can kind of see them better. So for now, I'm just gonna put this, this in here. And you do want to keep these in order. So it does say page one of 72. So there's 72 of these pages. That one says two, so that's good. Thank goodness for that. Because knowing me, I would totally mess that up. And then I guess I could put these in here. I wonder if I should just put everything back in the box. I'm not sure how I'm going to store this, if I'm going to use the box or just actually I might just go ahead and put everything in this bag. I'm gonna save the box just in case, but I think what I'm going to do is just put all of these in here, along with the this, because I'm not gonna be opening this bag all the time, I don't think. Let me go further back. And then, I'll just do that because I don't think this will fit in here. No. Or I could just put everything. Because these will, I could just put everything back in here. I could put these on this on the bottom, all the papers on the bottom, and then I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay, but I'm going to stop there. So that way I'm not wasting your time. And I will be back later. Hopefully I didn't put too much glue on that thing. And um, we'll just see how it all works out. And we will go ahead and do some pixel hobby art as kind of like whip and chat. So I will talk to you later and I'll be back in a little bit because I think that's what I might do um, instead of separating this into two, two um, videos. So yeah, we'll go ahead and work on it for a little bit. Maybe we'll just do like one square because it looks kind of like it's going to take me a long time because I'm just beginning <laughs> to just do that one square. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I know for you all it was just a split second, but for me, it's been hours. My husband came home for lunch. I made some burritos. Just, um, yeah, I made some burritos and then he took a nap, my friend called. So anyway, it's been a few hours. So what I did was, I did cut that piece off that was around the box. And it did say that there were, weren't tweezers included. There was somewhere in, on here, somewhere on the box that said it. But anyway, so um, I put that in this bag and then I have the rest of the stuff. And here, like this is the rest of that, what was wrapped around the box. So we're gonna take these out. I'm just gonna try a little bit because I gotta, I have another video I'm still gonna make and then I need to finish up 
the um I need to finish up that witch today. The witch the Bell Art Diamonds that I'm working on. I need to finish that up. So okay, so what we're gonna do is so these are the diamonds or the pixels, I guess. I don't know what they're I don't know what they're called. I got my water now, my coffee's gone. Although I do really want some coffee right now, but okay, so I'm grabbing my my little lamp here that has the the lens. What is that? I don't know why I always forget what it's called. Okay, so I think there's that one. They also sell things on Etsy for these, but I don't know why they look bigger when other people were doing it. So I don't know. Do I have like little tiny ones, like these squares? These actual squares look bigger. Okay, so let me get this out. So what I did was remember I put that glue on here on the, the that um, pixel board. So it dried, and I tested it out on another piece of paper, and it did come off. So I don't want to take it off because it was hard to align everything. I got everything. Um, nice and aligned. You see where I put these other ones? That's where they belong. And so it does come off, but I don't want to take it off. So I don't want to reposition it again. And I also um, brought a pair of tweezers. So I could try both ways. I'm sure once I get the hang of it, uh, I'll see which one works better. For me so I'm gonna put that aside and then just put these over so these are all this is that color palette I was showing you but I guess for you it's all the same video so I don't have to go over everything but I'm gonna try this easel I don't know if this will make it easier so there's that see how this is staying on there so that's really nice and I get this so I could see better and then I was doing that the round that that one right there, 105. So that was like that pinkish color. Let's see if I can get it out. And then I was just going to replace it with my little tool there. I have my dog inside, and sometimes she gets a little bit loud. <clears throat> She's in the kitchen, and I'm in the living room, but it's very close. Okay, so we'll just do a little bit, and then I'll wrap it up in this video. Put this video, the videos together. So I don't know if it's gonna be easier on an easel or not. So let it go in. And I know I'm like super slow, but I think after a while it's going to get faster. I'm just gonna have to practice a little while. And then this easel is kind of kind of this gets in the way, so with those with these ones down here. And I wonder if these will just all straighten out as I, as you get more together. And they do come off really easy. You should see the lady I was watching. I, should, I need to find that video so you could watch her. She's quick. <laughs> so I wonder what I, I guess I could reposition. I wonder if I could, this will hold it up like that. This is just a cookbook. This is just um, a cookbook easel that I got from my cookbooks. And then I started diamond painting and now I use them for, um, oops. Now I use them to hold my drills. When I take the, the, um, the containers out of their like suitcases or I don't really like putting my Elizabeth Ward on here because when you take them out they slide down okay so I finished with that but I like the bottles and all that because they stay in place uh, let's see so I, I finished this color so now I'm gonna go on to I'm gonna do the triangles and the triangles is 122 I'm actually gonna put the colors on this side 
I guess I gotta figure out how I wanna get organized. Oh, I need a tray. Oh, yes, I need one of my little trays, but I don't have them all here. But a trinket tray would be handy, so next time I'll have one of those. Okay, so I am going to do 122, and that is, see, I don't know what color that is. It would be nice if they put the colors up there. So let's see, what is this one? So 122 is this one right here. You know what, I didn't even turn the overhead light on. Hopefully it's okay for y'all. So that's the triangles. Let's see. Can I get it on there? Yeah. The only thing if I press on it, the uh, cookbook holder is going to go back. So I got to remember to kind of hold, hold that. So this is fun. I think I'm going to like this. I just got to get used to it. Uh oh, somebody's home. So I'm going to stop. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I actually didn't need to come in. <laughs> okay, so let me put this back over here. So we're doing the triangles. I'm gonna use the tweezers for a little bit and then after the tweezers, I'm gonna go, oops. I'm gonna go back to those other. Those other scissor thingies. I forgot what, they, what they're called. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you could work and put these on in a tray. Maybe not line up like diamonds, of course, but put them in a tray and see if that works. But this is fine right now. I think once I get used to it, it won't seem so awkward. I'm so used to diamond painting. I think I'm gonna like this. There's another one I want to get. So if I like this, I'll go ahead and get another one. I think, oops. Oh, bummer. I wonder, I'm gonna have to put this one in a baggie now. So note to self, make sure you're gonna use it because you know, these don't have like um, like once I put this away, I'm not going to know. Well, I guess I can match it up. I'll just put this aside right now. So let's put that back here. And the next one is going to be 116. That's these up here. So I'm going to bring this down. So I'm going to get these up here. That's 116. Let me just make sure. And this is so this is 117 and this is 116 pretty color yes if only I would love it if that was in that way in color so I'll know what I'm getting so that one goes there Bad they weren't the same as the DMCs. <gasps> I did it. Oh, yeah. I need one more. Okay. Don't cut any more off. And then the next one is the X's, which is 117. And that was the yellow. Right? Let's just make sure. 117, such a pretty color. Isn't this weird how the, the um, brightness changes? Like I said, I didn't um, turn my overhead light on. I kind of forgot. Mm, 
Okay. So, it looks like I am done with this section. So what I'm going to do is take this off and make sure I got them all in the right spots. Yep, and they're all pressed down. So I'm going to take this off. Oh no, it's sticking. Maybe I put too much glue. Because when that lady used it, and hers just came off and on really easy. Oh no, you guys. It's sticking. That's not good. Okay, well that's odd. Why is it that it always works for the person and then when you do it? Okay, not good, not good. This is not a good start. Oh no, well thankfully I got everything in the correct spot. Oh, that's not good, you guys. Let me see if I get most of it off. I guess I should have just did corners instead of trying to do the whole thing. But for her it works, so. And I tested it and I was able to reposition it, but maybe I put it on too, with too much pressure. Okay. Let's see, let's see if I could still do this. <laughs> let's see if I could salvage this. Well, I can, I could always just clean all this off. Oh no, I hope one didn't fall off. <gasps> one did. This is purple, who oh, knew? No. Let's see which purple it was. Oh no, you guys, I think I'm gonna have a purple missing. Where did this go? Okay, so this went out right there. So if I put this back on, I think it's going to be like right around here. Let me put that back on again. Oh, you know what I could do? I could tape this. Okay, do I have any tape over here? Let me tape that back on. I think that's the only one missing. double-sided tape right here okay I think we're gonna be okay hopefully there wasn't anything else right there so we're gonna just check we're gonna put this back on and maybe it was a triangle oh it's that one right there okay so let's pick one, pick this up. And I just want to make sure. Yep, it's right here. Oh, I dropped it. Let's see which way to pick it up. Sorry, I was looking out the window. Okay. I know where it goes. I know where it goes now. Let me just find out which way to place it. So I know it goes under there, so that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna move this back. Didn't go in. Okay, guys, I think I'm making it more difficult than it has to be. Let me just lay it flat for a second so I can at least press them all down. Let's put this one back on. Okay, so I want to make sure they're all down. I feel like they're pretty securely on there. I don't know why that one popped off. Oh, probably because I was having so much trouble. I still can't believe I did that. Okay, so. So normally you don't want to have all this stuff here. So I think next time what I'm going to do is just put a little bit in the corners. Not... 
I'm not gonna put it so much. Well, she said to put generously, so I was just, I was just following instructions. Okay, so now you gotta get this on here. I think that's, let me just, um, I'm gonna move it off a little bit. Because I'm gonna look at it really close. So let's take out my glasses, because I just wanna make sure it's all, I don't want my head in there. I'm just gonna position it. Okay, so now I'm gonna press it on here again. I think there's still some stick left. Okay, so next time I'm just gonna put a little bit. And then instead of working from the easel, I think I'm just gonna work like if I was diamond painting. And, um, oh, that dog. Okay, so hopefully you don't not hear my, my, my dog make disgusting noises. So I am going to, I have this right, sure it's in front. Okay, let me get comfortable. I wonder if I turn the light on. Is that too? It's kind of bright for y'all, but I think I could see better. Okay, so now I'm going to do these squares, which is 126. Again, I don't know what color that is, so it's 134. I think this might be it. Okay, so that's 126. I like the more natural light, but you guys, I really need to be able to see. Okay, so now we are doing, um, oh, and then just so you notice that right here, the square was 105, over here, the square is 126. And that's what I have, 126, and we're doing these squares. Okay, just making sure. I think I work better if it's not on an easel. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I'm making this look, look awfully hard, so I'm sure it's not so hard. I don't know if they give you extra. Hopefully they do because I already had one fly off. The only thing is, I hope I'm not, I hope my paper didn't cover anything. My torn paper. Oops, gosh, I'm damaging that thing. I'm damaging my diamond. I think these are really pixels, but I'm just calling them diamonds. Jeez. Let me try this other tool. This is this when it's not this way actually seems seems harder to me. I think I like the I think I like the um, tweezers better. Well, let me go back to my tweezers. Okay, uh, I'm so bummed about the glue on my paper because I'm hoping I'm not missing anything right there. But once I'm done, I'll check just to make sure. It's not that hard to take off. But I don't, I'm just having trouble with my tweezers. Okay, so there's some more over here. I'm gonna try, let's see, I'm gonna try using a diamond pen, a diamond painting pen. So I need three, let me take three off. Then I need one there, and then I'm gonna need one there, and one there. Those are hidden from that paper. Oh, I can't believe I did that. So let's just take three, just try three. Jeez, I'm having troubles here. Oh, I guess, I guess I shouldn't try from the tip. You really should be getting it from right here like that. Okay, let's see if the pen works. The only thing, this is, tray's not gonna actually 
make the diamonds face up. But I wonder if a pen would work. Nope. Nope, they're too big. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go back to my tweezers here. I guess it would help if I had this the right way. Okay, no more trying the, the tray way. I wonder as, as you put more, if they will, like if you put these on a little bit crooked, I wonder. I wonder if they'll um, fix themselves. I guess we'll find out once I'm done. Now that one's kind of scratched. And if I use the tweezers a little bit more down, it's kind of harder to place. So I guess you find your groove after a while. I do like that the glue keeps this taped here, but the only thing is, I don't know, maybe I just put too much. And I'm pretty sure that's a square right there. So gosh, there could be something right there and I messed it up. This is gonna be so pretty though once it comes together. As long as I'm putting the colors in the right spot. She used like a, like an, she didn't use an eraser, but she did use something else other than her fingers to press it down. She was going like this. Oops, she was going something like this. I'm so klutzy, you guys. That's another problem with, with me and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so let's make sure it's all down. Don't want anything popping off. I guess that's why you would probably save these in case it popped off and you get. Oh, and then now we gotta do these, which is 134. So that was 126. Let's see what number is this? 147. One forty four. So this one's one thirty four, and one thirty four is all these. O's. I don't know if it's easier to use the eraser on your fingers, but I heard of people that. Um, I think it's better to get used to something else. Where's that eraser? Oh. Instead of using your fingers all the time. So what do you all think? I mean, uh, at least now you know what not to do. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna really like this once I get the hang of it. I was hoping it'd work with the easel because it's, you know, already when I diamond paint, I'm 
looking down. So, I guess I need to start doing some, some, some kind of stretches. I don't know what. at these and I was like oh I need to do these too but that's 147 I'm doing the circles 134 so I, oh no there's another one up here another one over here Okay, I think that's it for the circles. Oh no, there's another one right here. I think I'm going to invest in that, in the magnetic holder, because it wasn't too expensive. And I think, I don't, I'm not too sure about that glue now that I, now that that happened. Okay, so let's do the X, let's put this back. The X is 144. This is 144. I kind of wish the number was in the front. That way I could see it all the time. Okay, now it's where the X is. And they do get, um, I think I'm going to get a different pair of tweezers, ones that aren't so pointy, because the pointing, when I miss like that, I'm scratching the squares, diamonds, the pixels, whatever we're supposed to call these. And I'm wondering if those tweezers that kind of go up a little bit would work better, because once you get these all close together... here so another one here okay let's see do we have an oh yeah there's another one down here I need to straighten them. I'm hoping that they'll straighten out as you go. Okay, so now I just need the triangles, which is 147. It's 134. Oops, I wonder if that got out of order. 147. Just double check. And those are gonna be the triangles. Let's try this again. These are just hard to, if I was at an angle, if I was doing this on the easel thing, I think this would be easier, but going down like this isn't. She said that these are, um, are nice because they, like these have that pressure with the, you know how you're like, not a spring, but there's like pressure here where these ones don't have that. I forgot the exact words, but something like that. 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 I 
I need to make a tool that helps you press it down and then those could be like something pretty. Some people, I was reading that how some were saying that, you know, after doing um, this for a long time that their their fingers are going numb. So I think, I guess that's why the lady maybe said to use something like it, the end of an eraser or something like that. Okay, so did we finish? Oh no, I forgot some of these at 126 right here. And then there might be something hidden because of goofy me. Okay, what what was, I don't remember what 26 was. It's like a red, I think. One thirty-four, one forty-four, one twenty-six. What number am I looking for, for again? One thirty-four. One thirty-four. There must be another one thirty-four. Cause let's see. 134. Okay. So I think I'm done with this one. But let me double check since I since this got so stuck on there. Let's see. Looks like I got all those. Yeah, and then you don't want these to get ruined. I think I'm gonna have to just take that glue off. Cause you don't want these getting ruined in case you need to in case something falls off you know where to come back to and now i can't do that with these two sheets because i ruined them so see there so i did miss there are more under there so I think this one over here. So I didn't put in this sheet actually. This goes on this side somewhere. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to carefully, without getting any of these off, is I'm going to take this glue off. I'm going to use a glue that glue gone and take all that off. And I think next time, because see this is fine right here. Look. So next time, I'm not going to do it generously like she said. I'm just going to put a little bit. I wonder if it would be okay. Well, no. Yeah, see, now it's fine. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. So I am going, I'm going to come back another day and another video. I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed. I should have made a copy since I was trying this first time. I don't want to make a copy of that whole thing. But I should have at least did since I was trying something new. But I trusted the lady that hers was coming out fine. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to press all this to make sure it stays. I'm going to get my glue gone and take these off. And then I'll leave a li the little bit of stick that's on there. Because so I think that will be fine. But I'll, I'm going to make a copy just to make sure that it's going to be fine. But I think the rest will be okay. But I'm just going to get rid of all this. If I can't just scrape it off, I'm going to use my goo gone. But I need to make, I just want to make sure that none of those pixels slash diamonds come off in the process because I messed up that first page. So that's what I'm going to do. I think, I think I could get the, most of this off. And I think I'll be okay. So, anyway, at least I tried it first, so that way if you guys 
get the pixels my nail bent. You'll know, don't put so much of that glue if you use it. So, okay. Well, I'm gonna let you go because I gotta just do like another video and uh, you all have a great day. And I, oh, if you like this, um, please give it a thumbs up. And you know, there's like down in the emojis, there's these squares that are different colors and those could be our pixels. So just put a few of those color in there. I think they're towards the end of the emojis um, where their arrows and all that are. So let's put some of those in the, in the comments. And let me know if you have tried this and give me some tips if you have. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.